Alright guys, we're back. We're about to have a nice little fight. This is a fight to determine the survival, the survival, of Clan Septic. Let's see if they can pull it off. Oh, that's a shame. Aw, oh, no plague monks right there. Nah. Just a lot of slaves, not even fully healed, but then again, neither am I. I will play, even though it won't make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to, like, that's kind of sad, though. Like, I've taken their home, and they're, like, starving out there. And they have no choice, even though there were ruins at the back behind them, but they, they sought annihilation. I'm pretty sure all the Skaven, they've got tunnels that lead all over the world, and the mm. ground. But they're, like, so convoluted and, like, intertwined, it takes them ages to travel anywhere. Yeah. Surprised. Like the dwarfs. I'm surprised why, you know, I'm surprised that uh, these Skaven here aren't using them to find a new ruin. I'm pretty sure it was Clan Septic that started the first Skaven Civil War. <laughs> I can believe there being a Skaven Civil War, to be honest. Yeah, there's, they've, well, they've always got, like, like wars going on between each other, but, like, yeah. the, the actual Skaven Wars were the ones that, like, involved, like, all the Skaven clans. Ah, uh, like, yeah. Yeah, that were, like, devastating to the Skaven, like, population-wise. Well, yeah, like, they're fucking, like, skittery, and they probably care not for their, you know, development, I guess, or relations between their race. Nah, it's only really in the end times. Um, what, the Skaven what... come together with the... Yeah. Really? The Skaven single-handedly destroy, like... Because you've got, like, the Empire, which is, like, Europe, in, in a sense. Yeah, and then well, the Holy got... Roman Empire, kind of, yeah. Yeah, basically. And then you've, uh, like, to the east, you've basically got, like... Um, I can't remember the names of the factions, because they weren't... They were in the lore, but they, they weren't really in, like, the tabletop game. Yeah. So I think one was called Astelia. Okay. And so it was basically, like, Asia and um, India... Yeah. And the Skaven single handedly took out the whole of Asia on their own. Holy crap. Yeah. Like <clears throat> and I mean not over not in like over like months. Like literally within a week they destroyed a whole fucking like continent. That's mad. Yeah. Like the end times was just fucking bizarre and like totally out there when it comes to like, like how much do you know about like Lord of the Rings lore in comparison to Warhammer fantasy? Um no, I know some, but not a lot. Because, like, the Lord of the Rings, they have a very similar concept called the Dagor Dagorath, where, like, Morgoth and Sauron come back to life, and they essentially, there's, like, a fucking titanic battle for Middle-earth that basically destroys it, and it's kind of then reborn. It's literally the end times, but for Lord of the Rings. Like, a yeah. lot of uh, the heroes from, like, the second, uh, the first and second age is just come out they just come back to life and all the bad guys come back to life and they just have one gigantic titanic battle and it's called the Dagor Dagorath the, the Skaven in the end times the ones that um, unearth this essentially the super weapon that destroys the world what is this weapon um oh, what, how do you describe it I think it's like a black orb or a black box or something like that but it it's one of these things like it's linked to Possibly the um, uh, 40k. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a little nod. Yeah, yeah. Basically, because it, it, there's not much description of it in the books, like yeah. the books that I've read, and essentially it acts like a black hole and sucks everything into it. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. So like, Ar Archeon like knows where it is. And yeah. He gets the Skaven to excavate and um, excavate it. What the Skaven work for the chaos in this case? Uh, not to begin with. But when the Skaven lords of the clans basically see Archeon, yeah. they essentially shit themselves just by looking at him because they they know that he's, he's a not. pretty scary guy. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he basically Sauron of that universe. Um, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he might have the. He, he might be the backstory where he was like an Empire priest or an Empire knight or something like that, and he was going through like a library and he read something. That turned into chaos, essentially. Well, he just read a book and now he's chaos. Basically, yeah. There was something in there that... That's kind of uh, dangerous. Like, you think that they'd lock that book up. Wow. Well, it was 
read something you're not meant to, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's like only the elders may read this. That's why it's in the restricted section. Um, I just find that funny, though. It's like, oh, I'm going to read words off a book up. No, now I'm like the ever chosen now. Yeah. What, did it like open a po Like, did it open like a link for the Chaos no, Gods to I convert him more? I think it was. This might be something that got retconned, but I'm pretty sure it was a book that said, like, the Empire was a lie and, like, Sigmar was a lie, kind of thing. Why, well, you just believed it at face yeah, value? Yeah, believed. Yeah, but basically it was a book that just convinced him that the Empire wasn't what it seemed to be, kind of thing. Ah. So it just gave him, like, a shit ton of, like, disillusionment and whatnot. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. But that might, might be retconned, or I might be think, thinking of a different chaos. Hey, hey man, check this out. Oh, ah. oh, I love the burning head. It's so good. Shame it does literally. Like, fire does nothing to armored enemies. You'd think it would cook them in the armor, you know? Yeah. Like, it would happen in real life. Yeah, essentially. Also, I gave, uh, gave Malekith a uh, mount. Look at him go. wonder, like, does he get, like, extra damage from, like, a cold one? I feel like he should. Oh, good battle. I literally did nothing. <laughs> they, they all fled before they really got into combat. Because, like, yeah, if you're playing Skaven in this, like, how do you get out of the early game if your units are that trash? Um... I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I gotta try playing Skaven sometime. Just to kind of, like, see how difficult that would be. Because, like, surely Skaven slaves cannot have upkeep. Uh, probably... I don't even know if the Skaven have a currency. It might be someone else. I think it's food. Yeah. They're, like, the only faction that has to worry about that. I don't know yeah. like how food works in this game. Well, slaves are food to the Skaven. That makes sense. Like if they can't produce enough food by like eat the slaves, raiding, yeah. yeah, they just eat slaves. <laughs> right. And like, how how is like is like a caste system like? If you're a slave, like you're born, like if you have a kid uh... as a slave, then you're, then that kid's gonna be a slave or. I don't think it's a caste system by birth. It's a caste system by, like, your actions. Ah, so like, like a if punishment. You're, if you, sort of, like, so if you're born and you're just a naturally, like, one of the, like, pathetic skaven, like, weak, or have, like, disfigurement, or, like, always run, you're going to be... Yeah, you're always going to be a fucking slave. Yeah. yeah. If you're born and you're, like, naturally, like say like uh naturally gifted when it comes to like stealth and various other like trickery and stuff like that you might get picked up by one of the um i can't remember the name of the clan now but you might get picked up by the clan that's all about being an assassin yeah kind of thing and then like the uh storm vermin are basically uh they're basically skaven that have been really good at fighting and as they've been growing they've just been killing things and eating them to like grow bigger than usual so it's it's it, it's all about backstabbing, killing stuff, and eating shit, basically. Right. Uh, oh, chaos stirs. Uh, now, do I bitch slap these orcs? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. With the amount of shit that you've been able to do to me, I want to be able to do some shit to you now. Okay. <laughs> so fucking go. Go suicide yourself into, like, a three-stack or something, huh? Like I did. Well, I was going to until I got this rebellion. <laughs> oh, uh, man. That's just going to be an auto-resolve, because you would not be able to be do anything to me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I've had a bit of... I do have magic, though. What can he do? He has a Vindictive Glare, which is magic missile. Oh, he doesn't have that, like, fucking... Suicide Bomber one. I, I, like, if he had that, I'd play it and fucking run him in. <laughs> like, I'd be tempted to go non-PC and do a fucking either, like, an Aloe Akbar or a Eulalate, maybe. But that might be a bit, uh, tasteless, I think. 
Ah, fine, auto resolve. Can you even Which kill way? anything? Nah, 19. I lost 19, apparently. I mean, to be fair, those 19 families should be ashamed that they raised uh, dwarves that would die to that. Uh, at least I got a grudge removed. Personally, I didn't <gasps> even bury them. Fiery. Nah, they, dwarves always bury the dead. Nah. I wouldn't bury those ones, though. They uh, dishonored their ancestors by dying to that rabble. That's just mega. Because the way the dwarf mind works would be they would write down grudges against the orcs. Yeah. For killing their sons or whatever. Yeah, and then they have to uh, go kill the... But would they have to kill those specific orcs, or would any orc from the same clan do? Any orc from the same clan would do, usually. What, a, what about a different clan? Like, what about make it species-wide? Uh, um, only if it was something, like, big. Ah. Like a settlement uh, being taken, or that type of thing? Yeah, so, like, with Belagar, it's basically... He fucking hates all greenskins, essentially, especially the ones around Karak Eight Peaks. Yeah, because what happened to him and his family. So to him, he gets he gets hatred, regardless of um, of work, basically, uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> hmm. I got a friend at me. A uh, guy at me on Steam there. Like I, I had a very wholesome moment on the Elite Dangerous Reddit because like I want to start getting into that game. I just went on the Reddit to like. Uh, ask people like what should I do and I had people offering me to help and yeah added one of them on steam like it was so fucking wholesome Let's see mm. if I can find them there we go right okay my archers are good so I need to replace um hang on wait a minute if I do the math correctly Okay. Actually, you killing those three units actually kind of helped me because I was probably going to spend them anyway. Yeah, money-wise. That was the same as one of the other battles I had. Not even money-wise. Composition-wise. Because I want to have two more heroes in this army, so I'll take that up to 18. Then I can get one more archer and one more melee. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, just quickly upgrading all my characters, because apparently... Oh yeah, yeah, no, go ahead. Uh, <sighs> Man, the Skaven corruption is going down by so much. Like, I have such a huge fucking grin on my... Like, a shit-eating grin on my face, given how long I've had to put up with that. Ah, oh, so good. Uh, okay. Right, hopefully I'll be able to see Karak Hate Peaks now. Oh, there it is. I wonder what it looks like. Can you describe it? It is infested with orcs. <laughs> and goblins, and there's an army. There's 20 stack on it. Is it like the situation I had with Rakdor Gorge? Uh, probably worse. Oh, wow, okay. I'm down for that. <laughs> there's, there's, black, there's at least one unit of black orcs in the main Ooh. force. Shit, son. Oh, orcs. man. Racto Gorge's um, garrison for me is pretty fucking good. Yeah. Like, it's insane what Grimhammer has done to the garrisons. It's actually yeah. dumb, in my opinion. Because, <laughs> like, for those wondering, like, in vanilla, the garrisons will be about half of uh, what we have now. Right, what am I doing technology-wise? I think... I might do Dwarven Emissaries, to be honest. Yeah? More di diplomatic relations. Uh, actually, I think I'll... I'll get Masterwork crossbows going, I think. Go for it. Because it's only two turns. Um, shit, Ooh. what was I going to do? The, um, the garrison of Nagarond has changed composition because of a building I built. I now have Black Arc Corsairs now, which are anti-infantry instead of bleak swords. Ooh, they're way better. And <laughs> I think I have more Black Arc Corsairs with handbows, and now I have three Reaper Bow Throwers instead of two. Ah, uh, shit. Do I just get more warriors? I think I just... Shit, I don't know what to do. Uh... 
Um, I think the Skaven are gonna try and attack again. It'll probably be another resolve, I think. Okay, right, my turn's done. Yep. And no At least I cleared a bunch of fucking grudges. What you got for that money? Or money, oath gold, and it basically dropped my um it dropped me down a level in like because I got a bar and it gives me certain bonuses or negatives depending on what section I'm on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I uh, just got the uh, I just got the obsidian blade. Which is plus twenty armor piercing. I will put that on. Don't think my sorceress can have a weapon, can she? Oh no, she can. Okay. Yeah, you can. You can have the sword of strife, I think. Or the talisman. Have the ward save. Oh no, Malekith has that. Um, I have two terrifying mask of ease. Didn't know that there was two. <laughs> Fair enough. Take the dark star cloak. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go clean this Skaven up. I want them off the map. You know what the fucking annoying thing is? I can't auto resolve this. Merciless host. That's so yeah, the annoying. Obsid the obsidian blade was uh. Oh, you can't auto resolve? Well, no, I could, but I'd probably lose a unit. Ah, okay. It's just slaves. Yeah, I know that, but the auto resolve can like kind of fuck you at times. Um. Yeah, the obsidian blade on the tabletop was a lot better than it is in this game. Ah, uh, yeah? Yeah, because uh, I think it was just a generic magic item. Mm. Um, so any army could use it apart... I don't think the dwarfs could... I can't remember the rules for the dwarfs now. Oh, you didn't have to lose the AI. You could let the uh, AI handle it. Nah, I'm just going to push everything forward anyway. <laughs> but it, it just ignored armor saves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, 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 it didn't matter what armor you had, it just went through. So it's actually, quite a useful item. Actually, fuck, I should have ordered resolve this because the army would have died. I'm not going to be able to kill the army now. Ah, that's my bad, it's late. Oh well. Nice map, though. It's fucking far cry to what you've probably been fighting in as uh, the dwarves. Like desert and whatnot and mountains. Yeah. Okay, I'm not really expecting this to take too long, I hope. It's actually nice not having to corner camp for once. I actually feel good about myself. Black guards. Question is, I don't know where you're gonna start. Oh, now I'm gonna start in a very uninspired position. I'm good to go when you are. Alright, how about me? Or, how about you? <laughs> Very on it, yeah. Like, just two banks and the artillery behind with the unit to protect them. It's as uninspiring as you could get. Fire, my children. Fire! Like, do the better bolts, please. Hmm. Time that to perfection. I'm going to go away now. <laughs> that netted her about 80 kills. Cool. Wait, you have magic? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he was a wizard. Oh, fuck. It's a plague priest. Ah. Well, fair enough. Take the vortex. Ho, 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 ho. God damn. Oh, she has like nearly 400 kills, man. Holy shit. Yeah, this, the Skaven are just disintegrating. Yeah. Oh, shit. My artillery. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have played this, but um, 
this is cathartic for me after the bullshit I had to go through earlier on. Ah, feels so good. Okay, it's still going. Is it? It was, yeah. Oh, did go into my lane? One really watching. Now, Malekith. Have your cold one eat him. Ah. That was rude. I was like his final fuck you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I would laugh my ass off if you actually killed Malekith doing this. <laughs> nah, they're probably all gonna flee now. Yeah. I think I still have a couple who are willing to fight for the cause. But then the artillery came. <laughs> like, imagine that sight like a fucking mad elf with a golden face on a dinosaur chasing you down. Only in Warhammer. Oh. Uh, I could, like, waste 20 minutes chasing him down to ensure that they all die, but, um, this ain't single player, man. Have we, like, had a battle on your side tonight yet? Because this has so. fucking all been me tonight, man. God yeah. damn. I think I've had a lot to do. Oh, you've seen the uh, new Total War Saga, or like what it might be, haven't you? Uh, might be Troy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Should definitely uh, be a good one, especially if they do the whole uh, Three Kingdom uh, dueling and heroes thing. They have like. Uh, yeah, that'd uh, be in it, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And if they don't make fucking Achilles OP as fuck, I'll be disappointed. I mean, he should be, though, shouldn't he? Like, he was the greatest fighter in the war. Yeah, he should just be like the only negative stat he should have is like plus a hundred percent missile damage taken. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if they do like, um, like in Three Kingdoms, like, do your heroes have like uh, tech trees like in this? Uh, they well, it's for putting skill points in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because like. Maybe, like, for Achilles, they could just give him, like, the most, uh, diverse, uh, tech tree, I imagine. Compared to everyone else. Yeah. Oh. oh. I think the army died. Fully. Yeah, Didn't faction destroyed. Look. Clan Septic. <laughs> They're gone. I've done it. Okay, now go home. Okay, so I just need to recruit. What to recruit, though? Get Dark Shard with Shield unit and another. Oh, I could get Black Art Corsairs though, but nah, Dread Spears are good. Okay, skill points. Definitely get the melee attack plus 12 in there, and now I have a melee attack of 80 as Malekith. Oh, I actually had. I leveled up twice from that battle. That. okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I can get the cold one chariot. Yeah. Oh, my melee attack goes really damn, but I needed to get a Seraphon. Wow, the chariot's actually really shit. Everything goes down by a charge bonus. <laughs> but. Ooh. I get Eternal Hatred. That weapon strength goes back up by a little bit. So I'll get that too. And the hag. They serve me well. Or the sources yeah. of fire. Hmm. And that should be enough. You're not moved. Um, oh yeah, you need to get into the army. Do that now. Please, if you would, thank you. Settlement upgrade of Nagarond. You there yet? Yet three yet? No, that'll still take a while. No problem. In that case, in turn. Uh, should end it there for this one. And when we get to your turn, we shall. Yes. Now, this, this. I think the issue with me is I can't push out yet. Because mm. if I push too far east. I would not be able to help Karak Norn against the Crooked Moon tribe. If I go up and help Karak Norn against the Crooked Moon tribe, 
I'm leaving my entire province defenseless to any, like, war accord just wandering around. The thing is, though, do you really, really need to, to help them? Karak Norn? Mm. Yes, because if they lose the war against Crooked Moon, I have nothing buffering me against, uh, uh, basically a goblin horde. So you're attacked at two fronts at that point? Yeah. Ooh. Karen and Kara making an appearance. Okay. This is definitely a much larger threat than the Skaven ever were. Oh, Karen and Kara, why did you have to attack me, man? If I I would actually pay them off right now. If they want to, if yeah, if they were going to accept peace, I would I would pay them a bribe. Happily. Just so I could develop in peace for a couple of turns. Yeah. Oh, I think that... Okay, I think I'm... Right, I'm going to have to make a decision on what I'm doing. I've worked... Still st stay uh, stagnant forever. Mm. I think I'm going to go north and help Karak Norn. Okay. Um, it'll probably take me maybe two... Oh, fuck's sake. Now there's a fucking high out... Uh, wood out for me. Ooh. Ooh. Is this the first time you've seen them? Yeah. Ah. Anyway. Shield. Shall we take yeah. it next part? Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Don't lose your way! <laughs>